a fertility preservation means allowing a woman or a man to be able to have children uh, in the future with uh, their eggs and sperm or embryos that they preserve now. And this has been primarily driven by the patients who are young, who are being, treating, being treated for cancer. And since cancer survival has increased, they face a life without children because some of the therapies that are used for cancer makes them infertile or sterile. So this is an opportunity to put aside uh, your fertility, otherwise preserve it, and then once you've survived your cancer, come back and utilize what you've put aside to be able to have your own biologic child. Preserving it generally by freezing and depending on the age of the individual, uh, whether or not they're married and have the, for instance, a woman, if there's a sperm source, uh, like a husband or a fiance, then they can use the biologic material from that individual as well to combine with the egg and freeze an embryo. Or you could freeze eggs now. We have a new process to freeze eggs, which is very good. Um, or in men, you can just freeze sperm. Uh, in young kids, uh, we are freezing actual tissue from the testicle or the ovary and in the future hope that there are going to be technologies to be able to mature eggs in the laboratory so that we can create embryos for those people as they get older and are of childbearing age. The potential options obviously depend again on the age of the individual, the availability of sperm, because we, we have been freezing embryos much longer than we have been freezing eggs, so we prefer to do that if that's feasible. Uh, and uh, what time frame we're talking about in terms of being able to put away whatever tissue we can.